question is uh, we have uh, I mean, a tremendous uh, huge culture behind our uh, Indian culture here, and uh, we belong to our you know, our forefather belongs to the Akhandit Bharat, and we are belong to the Khandit Bharat. Even though we have a very good history, you know, everything we have, we have ways, we have so many things we have, and still we belong to the Khandit Bharat. Well, can we destroy Pakistan once for all and have it? No, no, I am not saying that. So in future, even though we say there is no Punajama, we should not talk about it, concentrate on the current scenario, whatever. So how to save our culture? And if you save, it will be saved. You see, it is something like we have to do what we can. Instead of thinking, I have a lamp in my hand. I have to walk for 10 miles in darkness. It is not casting light on the goal beyond 10 miles. So I will not move. Will I be staying like that? If I move 10 steps further, the lamp will cast 10 steps more. The light will be shed on the way. So we have to walk with it. And that's why. Uh, Please don't mistake me. Once uh, I had read a quote, every Indian thinks like an Indian Prime Minister, but unable to execute, so he'll always be in misery. That is what I am telling you, sir. We, no. like me, like me, me, my age is what? We are only, I am only 40 years old, right? right? 34 years, uh, 1974 birth. So, like that, the story and so many stories are taught to the, our children. Like you only got some stories to. I have never told any stories. <laughs> I am only making you realize from your experiences. I have never told anything to believe. So you are misquoting me. Sorry. <laughs> See, I can understand your feelings, but if you can do whatever you, as Rabindranath Tagore's uh, one beautiful, well-known uh, short story says, now I'm saying a story. Uh, when sun is setting, sun breakfasts the rest of the world. I'm sinking in deeps of a uh, western ocean. Can anybody take my burden? The whole world said, no, 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 it's impossible for us. Then a small earthen lamp said, may I do whatever I can. So to that extent, we can always do. The world was always like this. Don't think there was a golden age. It's all hallucination. What? Purandar Dasa, during the golden era of Vijayanagar said, Satyavantari Gidu Kalavalla. This is not the time for good people and pious people and of truth and values. Kalidasa, in the golden age of Gupta says, Pravartatam, Prakutitaya, Parthiva, Sarasvati, Shruti Mahatam, Mahiyatam. May the kings from now on who are pleased work for the betterment of people. May the words of the scholars get respect. And he says, this is what in Shakuntala at the Rai PhD he composed that play. And in the earlier ages, what he wrote, uh, Vikram Orshiya says, Saraswati and Lakshmi, knowledge and wealth never stay together. At least let them stay together for a while. Vedi Vyasa, what he says in Mahabharata, Atikranta, Sukhakala, Pratipastita Dharma, Shashwa, Papi, Yadivisa, Prathivi, Gatayavana, all the good days are bygone and the future is very bleak and very dangerous. The world has lost its youth. And during his time only, Pandavas fought with seven Akshavanisa of army, while Kauravas fought with eleven Akshavanisa of army. What it is said? So every time people used to feel like that. Bhartrani says both Dharma Matsara Prasta Prabhas Maidushita Abodha Patas Chanya Jirna Mange Subhashitam. People who has to inculcate you wisdom, they are full of jealous. And people who has to patronize, they are arrogant, proud, and they are indulging in all sorts of sensual pleasures. And the people who have to listen and follow, they are idiots. And what happened, what should happen to the fate of good words? They will die with my body and that is to be burnt at the funeral pyre. So he says, 
bitterly. Jirna Mangye Subhashitam. So every time we had such. That's why Mimamsa Shastra says, Nakadachi Daridrisham Jagat, the world was no way different. Uh, in the Cairo National Museum, there is a papyrus. And now that it's uh, dating 2000 BC or so. Today's younger generation is very bad, arrogant, not following the elders. They are not respecting. They know not how to behave. The world will come to an end. Even today, people are saying so. <laughs> Yet the world has not come to an end. Why I am saying this? Not to hurt you, sorry. I don't have even an iota of that feeling. We should not think too much beyond one level. For I have to go to New York means, if my direction is set towards that, I need not see New York. If I see New York, there will be no more going. I will be already in New York. When the direction is set, I have to move. Moving occurs step by step. So when once our ideal is clear, any amount of little progress, however little, uh, the delta as we say in engineering, the delta, however small it may be, it will lead. We need not bother. Thinking so much has to be done and losing our heart is not rewarded. What Arjuna did is that. And more than anything, whether India is divided or not, or further fragmented or not, it is secondary. Primary is the Indianness that's far more important. Again, quoting Frali, says, Egyptians wanted to immortalize in the form of uh, pyramids. Babylonians wanted to immortalize in the form of hanging gardens. And the Greeks wanted to immortalize in the form of uh, their wonderful Parthenons and marbles. But Indians immortalized in the form of words which should be vanished in air. And yet Indian culture is still remaining while the rest of these cultures, they are lost. That's why we should not lose heart. Once we realize the absolute India within our hearts, Creating relative India at any space and time is not a big problem. See, earlier, we used to think, oh, Indians are going out of country, and so it is Pratibha Palayana, brain drain, and all that. Nowadays, nobody prays. Because the people who have come out of India, they are again serving for the cause of India in so many ways, starting from foreign exchange to so many things. They are contributing, and they are developing connections, and here they are doing, and other places they are doing. Why should feel bad for that? So, only the way is our orientation should be changed. This is the question of Arjuna, for that Krishna is sufficient. And that is Bhagavad Gita, it is said, such questions are products of Pradaya Dobbalya. Whether I win or not, I have to fight. There is no other way. I have to. We are right at the mid of the river. Going back is also as dangerous as going further. Let us cross the other way. That has to be our spirit. And one thing I can say from my own experience, I have found lot of solace and lot of confidence. And all these words what I am uttering, not one is devoid of my experience. I am very true to my experience. And I am very confident about that, honest about that, and I am saying, you can believe my words.